Hey guys, here are your quick fire questions for your fifth topic in AQA chemistry. Topics one, two, three, four, and five are gonna be the ones that are gonna be examining together in the first chemistry paper. Now, if you want a hard copy, which you can write the answers on for these questions, go over to my website and you can get my free revision guide and then you can just follow along filling in all of the answers. A really great thing for you to do would be to get flashcards and make flashcards of these as we are going through the video. And these you can keep, these you can reuse over and over and over again throughout your GCSE course. Do not forget that I'm doing all of the other topics, quick fire questions and whole topic videos. So don't forget, subscribe so you don't miss any of those. Not a lot of opportunity to ask quick questions for this, so a tiny short video here for you here. To find exothermic, so exothermic gets hot, it gives out heat. Endothermic gets cold, which means it takes in heat. Now if we want to make our answers a bit more sophisticated, we can replace the word heat with the word energy. So exothermic gives out energy, endothermic takes in energy. Draw the reaction profile for an endothermic reaction. So for an endothermic reaction, if we have progress going along the bottom, energy up the side. We are going to start with our reactants down here. We're going to have our products here. And then this is what our probe reaction profile is going to look like. So this bit here is going to be the overall energy change and you can see we are taking in energy. This here is the activation energy. Draw the reaction profile for an exothermic reaction. So again, progress along the bottom, energy up the side. Um, at this time our reactants are going to be here. Our products are going to be down here. This is going to be our reaction. Um, so this is the amount of energy that is given out. This is our activation energy up there. So if energy is needed, what is happening to the bonds? That means the bonds are breaking. And if energy is released, what is happening to the bonds? That is the bonds being made. If you want to calculate the energy change in a reaction, you need to work out the difference between the energy in and the energy out. So that is going to be the energy held in the reactants minus the energy in the products. Um, right, last two questions for chemistry only. In a simple cell, we have two different metals we are going to have an electrolyte down there um, the metals are connected by a wire up here and then we are going to have our bridge which is going to allow the flow of electrons what is the difference between a battery and a cell a cell is just made up of one thing um, whereas a battery is going to be multiple two, three, four, all lined up together. Nice little link with physics there. What's the difference between rechargeable and non-rechargeable battery? So um, both rechargeable and non-rechargeable batteries are going to be a chemical reaction taking place, which is going to allow the electrical charge to flow. The difference is that with rechargeable batteries, this is going to be a reversible reaction, which allows the battery to be recharged. Um, short video there, that definitely was some quick questions.